while I was running amok on the map, I found this orc. Jeez, Malrock, move a little bit. Revives and restores you to full health upon death. Automatically used at hell. Alright. read that these guys are supposed to help me cook, but they aren't doing anything yet. It's probably because I'm still in the tutorial style. Karen makes his first bread. A loaf of leavened bread, baked until brown. Restores fullness by 30% and hit points by 5. Yep. I could harvest that wheat, but first we're gonna go take care of... By the way, I don't, I don't have to jump across, I can just f run and fall off, but I don't want to fall into that pit. So anyways, before I complete the Harvest the Wheat mission, we're gonna go and do this other objective here. That Rosie just talked to us about. Squeak! Hi there, human! Are you looking for your friend? He's just over the other side of this hill, but he seems to have gone a little crazy. Last night checked, he was swinging his hoe around like a madman. If he's not your friend, you might want to steer clear. You can always just go and have a look, but don't blame me if he clocks you on the noggin with a piece of farming gear. Oh. 
Hello there, human! I'm as hungry as a church mouse! Seriously, I'm starving! Weak. All I have are these wheat seeds, but I get really bloated when I eat wheat. I think I have an intolerance. You think you could help me out? If you give me ten cabbages, that would keep me fed for a while. You can have these wheat seeds in return. Ah, uh, crud. Okay. I don't have any cabbages on me. Sweet! Hi there, human! A high-minded, high-brow, high-class boy like you should have no problems at all with heights, right? Then I know a couple tricks that are perfect for someone like you. Skills for swiftly scurrying to the loftiest spots. Squeak! Any adventurer worth his cheese knows how to climb. After all, you never know what you might find at the top of a mysterious hill. If you have a wall handy, you can put blocks against it to make a staircase. If not, you can build a tower by jumping straight up and putting a block under you before you land. Master of these techniques is the key to quick climbing. Give it a shot right now. There's a treasure chest up above me. It's yours for the taking, if you can reach it. Squeak, squeak! Very well done, human! Who would have imagined a seed of life would be hidden away up in those old ruined rafters? Did you have much trouble getting up there? If you're still finding it tricky, just keep practicing. You'll master it eventually. You look like something of an adventurer to me, human. Hopefully these climbing skills will aid you on your travels. That seed of life should be quite helpful too. It has the odd effect of making you just a little bit tougher if you eat it. You'll find incredible items like that in all sorts of unexpected places. So don't be afraid to go exploring. You never know what you might stumble upon. They say the rarest and most valuable items are always hidden in the hardest to reach places. So keep a keen eye out on your travels. Alright, uh, let's head back to base and get my cabbages real fast before we talk to this dude. I got 10. You know what, just, just take everything. They're not even cooking anyways. Hey human, those look like nice juicy cabbages. And you've got 10 of them. Two. Well, hand them over. Come on, I'm starving. Nope. Weak. I'm on my last legs here, human. I won't last much longer if I don't get something to eat soon. Alright, fine. Thank you so much. You've saved my life, human. I might be a rat, but I'm true to my word. Here are the seeds I promised you. I knew you'd come through for me. After all, us rats and you humans used to be on the same side. What? You don't know anything about it? Well, we... Actually, now that you mention it, I don't remember much about it either. <laughs> what is this fiendish farm farmyard still doing here? Don't worry, I'll have the whole blasted thing torn apart in no time. Hmm? I don't know who you are, but if you're not going to help, then I'd rather you leave me alone and let me destroy this place in peace. I beg your pardon. You heard there was an old farm around here and you're hoping you can find some seeds? Well, I expect this is the farm you're looking for. Don't worry, I'll soon have it completely obliterated. As for the seeds, I have some, but I won't give them to you. There's no nobler a goal in life than wreaking ruin, wreaking ruin, you know. I'm sure the master of destruction himself is watching me right now as I smash this place to smithereens. Mm -hmm. All I can say is, it's a small mercy this place doesn't have one of those accursed scarecrows. Those infernal puppets have some kind of dark power over me. Just one glance at one, and I can't resist tilling the soil around it. Confound my farmer's blood. Whatever you do, stranger, don't use that wooden workbench to build a scarecrow and then place it in the middle of this field. Don't even think about it. Do not place that scarecrow. For a devoted follower like me, there's no better way to raise one standing with the children of Hargon than by smashing up an old ruin. But I have to be careful in places like this. After all, my ancestors were farmers. If one of those awful scarecrows was standing in the middle of that field, my farming instincts might kick in, and who knows what might happen then. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little curious about exactly what would happen. If you wanted to use that workbench over there to make a scarecrow and place it in the middle of this field, I won't stop you. Oh, 
Oh no. Did you actually, did you really put a scarecrow in the middle of the field? Right after I specifically told you not to? What? What is happening to me? It's just as I feared. One glance at a scarecrow and I can't stop myself from tilling the earth around it. Oh, master of destruction, hear my prayer. I have sullied my hands with the stain of creation. I beg your forgiveness. It is only by your destructive grace that the field was not enclosed by wooden fencing. Were it so fenced in, I fear that I... I... You didn't happen to spot the pieces of wooden fencing stuck in the ground behind this field, did you? Whatever you do, don't go and fetch that wooden fencing over there and fill in the gaps in the fence around this field. Do you hear me? No fences. You leave that fence as Hargon intended. There are a few pieces of wooden fencing still standing in the ruined field behind this one. Whatever you do, don't go and fetch that wooden fencing, and definitely don't use it to fill in the gaps in the fence around this field. Let's, let's rile that guy up. It'll be hilarious. Trandards are reading a new recipe. Wooden gate. Wooden fencing. You, you put a fence around this field, didn't you? Why would you do that? No! It's happening again! Why? Why? I couldn't help myself. I've plowed every inch of earth inside that accursed fence. You sly devil. I expect you've worked out how to build wooden fencing and wooden gates yourself, too. With gates and fencing, you can make fields of almost any shape or size. They are dangerous weapons indeed. Oh, master of destruction, hear my prayer. Once again, I have sopped my brow with the sweat of constructive labor. I beg your forgiveness. What's that? If I want to go till some more fields, why don't I go and help out in your farm? What are you trying to imply? I'll have you know I'm a devoted disciple of the children of Hargon. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Let's take him back to the farm and turn him into a builder. Alright, weirdo. If you got any seeds, hand them over. And no funny business. We can do this the easy way or the fun way. Alright, alright. Here you go. They're all yours. Brilliant. Looks like we got enough seeds to make coming out here all, way out, all the way out here worthwhile. Now let's get Tommy Tills a lot here back to the farm. The name's Clayton. I'll go with you. I'll help you on your farm. I'll do anything you want. Just please don't kill me. Beep. Someone help me. Unbelievable. Look at this farm, these buildings, these fields, this tree. Truly such sinners are beyond redemption. 
Such shameless construction, such brazen building. This whole town stinks of creation. You're heretics, a lot of you. Heretics and builders all. <gasps> Reverend, this man is a builder, a foul, irredeemable sinner. Do something, destroy him. <laughs> you could not have arrived at a better time, my disciple. You must work the fields here. You must till the soil and water the crops with neither rest nor respite. N not you too. Why, Reverend, why? Very well. I will join you in your den of iniquity. <laughs> I can't disobey the pastor's orders. Clayton joins Tran's team. Great work, Tran. You didn't just find some new seeds. You found a new friend, too. Clayton's just like me, a descendant of one of Thoroughfield's finest farming families. That must be why he can't help but plow any field he sees. I've been thinking, Tran. We've been doing as the pastor said, and now we've got nice big fields and the dia trees growing bigger, too. But surely those three tasks he gave us can't be all there is to it, can they? It just seems too... easy. I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, let's build more scarecrows, till more fields, and grow more crops. You can even try making fields into interesting shapes and sizes by fencing them off with wooden fencing and wooden gates. Try it out and see how it goes. If we can grow a new deer tree, maybe we can rebuild for a farm after all. We have to try, so let's try together. If you're ever not sure what to do next, just see what plants we need to grow for the deer tree, plant the right seeds, and wait! Speaking of which, I explained how to grow cabbages before, but did you want me to go over again and to jog your memory? No. I don't know why I even asked, but if you ever need a refresher, just say the word. Are you judging my cabbage planting abilities? Where are those seeds? Didn't I have wheat seeds somewhere? Here they are. Oh, I just sorted. I didn't actually put them up. Ah, Tran. I see improvements to my village are proceeding apace, and your skills as a builder are improving likewise. Wonderful work, lad. As builder-in-chief of our humble home, it falls to you, young man, to inspire us by ringing that great bell once more. <laughs> Have you the power already, or will you need to gather more gratitude from your fellow townsfolk first? Should you fulfill our requests, build beautiful new buildings for us to use, and fields for us to tend, our appreciative energy shall surely flow like water and litter the ground below. <laughs> Speaking of which, it must sometimes be a bother gathering up all that gratitude, must it not? <laughs> well, I hear that something interesting might happen if you give the builder's bell a short, sharp strike with your weapon. Give it a try and see, with, see for yourself. <laughs> Grumbling ghouls, Tran. It's clear your skills as a builder are greater than ever. The instant your hammer struck that bell, I felt myself overcome with creative energy. I've been watching your building work with a keen eye, Tran. By building your buildings and planting your crops, you have made our hopes and dreams a reality. And with the gratitude we give you, you ring the bell and build a better you become and become a better builder, ready to make even more of our dreams come true. What a truly wonderful partnership. I can really hope you can continue to lead the people of our fair farm as our resident benevolent builder. You dragged me here against my will. You forced me to toil in your fields. I am a devout follower of the children of Hargon. Can't you understand that this is a living heck for me? Oh, wise and powerful master of destruction. Please have mercy unto your wayward children. What? What do you mean I looked like I was having fun when I was tilling that field? Speak for yourself, you... you builder. In fact, if you love building so much, builder, why don't you go ahead and build us a barn? You say that this is a farm, yet you don't even have one of the bare necessities. Well, what you want is a room with a chest, a haystack, a set of farming tools, a coil of rope, some firewood, and a pot. And put it all into a nice small room. I imagine a builder like yourself can't help but build huge halls that tower over everything. Try to be a little more humble about it, will you? There are five different sizes of room. You can check how big a room is by pressing back when you're inside it. Oh, our... Isn't it nice to have so much lovely clean soil about? I'm heck of a happy to hell. Look at all that clean soil. I never thought this day would come, to be honest. Oh, if my if only my old ma and pa could have lived to see this. When I was just a whippersnapper, they gave me these treasures. They've been added down through the generations so they have. Now, Tran, I want you to have them. Them balls of word food are brill. Plop them down on the ground, and I'll turn the area around into in, into lovely green gra grass. The second you put them down, I'll cover everything around them in grass. So don't go dropping them too close to your fields, you hear? 
How's about you put the, both of them bottles of worm food somewhere close by, and we'll have the whole place looking green and grassy in no time. Place some worm food on the ground, and Wrigley will turn the surrounding area into a lush meadow. Be sure to place it within the boundaries of your base, or it won't work. Have you made a barn yet, Tran? You'll need one to store the crop things you make and the crops you harvest. You need a small room with a chest, a haystack, some farming tools, a coil of rope, a stack of firewood, and a pot. And it must be small. A big barn would be a bother to you, so do try to show some restraint. You're sure to find the materials to build everything hereabouts. Why? Spoiled soil you'll need to make you'll need to make the pot can be dug up from just about anywhere, except here apparently. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. If you're to have any chance of igniting the spark of creation within me, you'll need to start by building a small barn. Come on, me handsome. Hurry up and put down that worm food so I can give our little village a nice new green. And don't stop till you laid up both of them. No point in half measures, there is there. No point in half measures, is there? Everything's coming along lovely, Tran. Lovely, Tran. We got our fields, we got our cabbages, and we got our wheat. And there's something else we got too. Hunger pains. You know how yummy those cabbages are, but the rest of us ain't had a chance to eat them yet. What we really need on this farm is a chest full of food. Then we'd be able to help ourselves to something whenever we were hungry. Please, Trent, I promise I'll never bother you for anything ever again. Just fill up a chest up with 30 cabbages and let us eat. I'm a, I have an anchoring for some cabbages. If we had a chest full of food, we'd be able to eat whatever the fancy took us. Please, Trent, if you put 30 cabbages in a chest, that'd be more than enough to keep us going. If you don't, we all starve. Chuck them down on top of the cho so soil. <laughs> Wonderful. Get on! You didn't say another word, Tran. Saw you squirreling away those cabbages. For I saw you squirreling away those cabbages for me. You know, chests aren't just useful for storing stuff. You can use them to share stuff with us too. I can recommend you fill them up with loads of lovely food. Ever since the children of Argon banned us from making new things, we've been forced to rely on their annals to survive. But to act with that, now we can grow our own food and stuff our gobs till we're fit to pop. Oh, by the way, Tran, those seeds you've planted won't last forever. Once you've harvested them enough times, they won't grow no more. So don't feel like you need to harvest everything just because you can. We only eat so much, you know. You'll get several harvests out of each seed you sow, but at some point the seeds will disappear. If you want to run an efficient farm, try to take only what you need. Hello, Tran. We've got ourselves a proper little farm now, haven't we? It's blimmin' brilliant having a builder like you around. But more than anything, it's nice to have so much food. I could definitely get used to not being hungry all the time. Of course, there's something a bit demeaning about scarfing down old raw cabbages straight out of a chest. We need a way of eating that's a bit more civilized. What do you reckon, Tran? Think you could invent something like that? If you do, then do me a favor and put it outside, will you? I've always wanted to enjoy a meal while looking out over our fields. Of course, it ain't civilized to sit in the mud, neither. I'll need a table to sit at and a simple stool to sit on. Then just stick whatever new culinary contraption you come up with on top, and the job's a good one. Well, if it doesn't really have to be outside, I have a tavern for you. Simple supper set. Better, ain't nothing better than eating outdoors. Hello there, Chan. How's work coming along on our new outdoor eating arrangement? I figure if you put one of your put one of your new fingers simple, simple supper sets on top of a table and whack a simple stool alongside, that'll do the job nicely. Just having them all next to each other that makes them a proper set, even if they're outside. Mm. I won't ask you for anything ever again, Tran. Just make me a set of, out, of, of, out of those three items so I can eat like an outdoorsy prince. Yoink. Until you guys cook, I'm not giving you anything. Alright, let me think here. Let's go ahead and start with the bowl. Hey, Tran. <laughs> Everyone else on the farm seems to be getting pretty good at making stuff. I mean, just look at all these crops. Crops. I think I might be able to make stuff now, too. Let me have a go on that workbench. Ha ha ha, I think I've got the hitting it with a hammer stage down to a T. Alright, and then... Huh? What? Ah! I can't do it. Well, this sucks. I just wanted to help, even just a little bit. Well, whatever. You stick to building. I'll stick to beating up monsters. Do I need a haystack? A simple supper set. That's not weird looking at all. Yeah. 
Pick that out. Take one of these. Alright, let's see if it doesn't have. Oops. It does have to be outside. Not sure what the facing is right now. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Tran. Now I can marvel at the unwonder of nature without ever getting hungry. I still can't get my head round round it. We tell you what we want, and the next thing you know, you've invented something new, and you're running off to build it. It's worth knowing that things don't necessarily have to be in a room. If you put something like a bed or a chair outside, we'll still use it, and aptly too. That's not to say we don't want you to make us nice rooms. If we can't enjoy your creations indoors and lovely appealing surroundings, we'll be all the if we can enjoy your creations indoors and lovely appealing surroundings, we'll be all the more appreciative. The other thing to remember is to try putting things together that make sets. A little thing like that little table, chair, and cutlery combo. Anyone in town who sees that will know exactly what it's for and use it when they want to. You know what would make it even better? If that simple supper set you made me actually had some food in it. After all, what use is a bowl if it gets some gorgeous grub in it? I think we'd all appreciate a lush breakfast when we wake up each morning, and after work in the fields, lunch wouldn't go amiss either. Oh, and dinner too, for that matter. I may have to expand my tavern. <laughs> I wasn't sure how many stools I had set up. Let's see how this works. I've never tested to see what happens. Of course I'd fall in. Let's go ahead and apply the worm food.
Great. Get on. It actually worked. I'm a little village green all on my own. Thanks, Ma. Thanks, Pa. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> not bad, Wrigley. We came here to work out how to make the Isle of Awakening a little greener, and it looks like we found our answer. Wrigley! This green stuff on the ground, is this grass? Wrigley, did you do all this? I certainly did. Back in the day, before the spoil spores came, the old field, old, the old furrow field was covered in the stuff, and it were full of flowers, too. You Wrigleys are really incredible. You Wrigleys, you Wigglies really are incredible. Not only can you make the earth clean, but you can make it green as well. You're gonna play a key role in bringing this island back to life. I just know it. Seeing all this greenery has put me in a somewhat of a farming mood, so to speak. I feel like making some more fields. Tell you what, Tran. If you ever need more space to plant seeds, just stick one of them scarecrows in the ground. I'll clean it up all the, I'll clean up all the earth around it. All right? I've been on the run a long time, trying to wriggle away from the children of Argon's clutches. It weren't all bad. I did learn a thing or two along the way, and I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll learn a lot too. That was the last of my worm food, but I'm sure it'll work out how, how to make it yourself one day. Then we'll make some serious green. <laughs> there we go, now they get dislodged, so they ran away. It's fine. Right, well, those were flying creatures, so that might be the issue there. Let's see if it works on anybody else, though. Make a barn room. Argon be praised. The barn is just as I had imagined it. Really? You imagine a little warehouse like that where I just shoved everything in? Ah, Tran! I... I... I can't hide it any longer. Ever since I came to your farm, ever since I saw the wondrous things you built, I've fallen in love with buildings. There's no point fighting it. I'll just have to say my goodbyes to the children of Hargon and become a builder like you. Oh, great and powerful Hargon, I beg your forgiveness for the sins I am about to commit. I am to commit. Do not turn me into a dog, I pray. Well, Tran, I hope this incident has proven instructive for you. Has proved instructive for you. If nothing else, you have learned that rooms can come in various sizes. I wouldn't be surprised if people petition you for rooms of specific sizes in future. It won't always be easy, but you should do what you can to accommodate their requests. Anyway, as proof that I no longer serve the children of Hargon, I would like you to have these. I denied you before, but I shall do so no longer. I just can't help myself. The sight of all this rich, healthy soil sends me into a farming frenzy.
All right, let's go ahead and harvest these sweet then. Is that everything? I think it is. I don't see anything else jumping out at me. All our hard work has finally paid off! 50 sheaves of golden wheat, harvested and ready to use! Wheat has always been a symbol of prosperity here on Furrow Field. There's just so much food you can make with it, we'll never go hungry again. Especially now that you're here, Chern, eating all our food. I expect that your skills as a builder probably extend to making delicious dishes too. Oh, and look, Chern, the deer tree! Wow, the deer tree is looking stronger than ever. Haggling, haggling, heel slimes, Tran. You've done it. You've completed every one of the pastor's tasks. You have rebuilt Furrowfield's fields and produced a bountiful harvest. The earth itself has been imbued with the power of growth. It is this that has given strength to the deer tree. In turn, the great tree will extend her blessings to your farm, protecting the fruits of your labor with her holy power. So the deer tree gives strength to the farm, and the farm gives strength to the deer tree. They both help each other. Indeed, very astute of you, child. But now you have outlived your usefulness. Your farming career ends here. Well, what? I jest. I jest. Keep your beard on. I jest. I jest. Keep your beard on. Our work is not done yet. After all, there is still more we must do to see the deity attain her true form. There is. Well, I suppose it did see all seem a little bit too easy. If you wish to see the deity restored to her full strength, you will have no choice but to work your fingers to the bone in her service. I shall explain to you soon enough what must be next be achieved. What, 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 must, what must next be achieved. But for now, let me bid you congratulations on a hard task well done. Don't celebrate too soon. Something. Don't celebrate too soon. Something tells me we've got company. The enemy's coming in. I gotta finish this first. Oh no, the monsters are coming, the monsters are coming! Lemonette, what are we gonna do? I can't find an old army of monsters, I can't even stand the sight of a single iron ant! Who are? I don't like the, f the idea of this. We Wigglies ain't big for fighting, you know? Tran, my lad, I suggest you prepare some weapons to give them to those who can wield them, like me. This grim aura, aura could it be? Alright, it's Britney time, baby! Time to slay some monsters and I'm gonna straight slay it! This this whole situation is giving me a horrible sense of foreboding, but if we're going to rebuild Furrowfield Farm, we shall have to fight for it. How do, how do we do? I can smell when a fight's brewing train, and this whole place stinks of it. I don't know if it's the tree you've grown or that bell you keep ringing, but something's got the monsters in a seriously bad mood. We need to kid out every, anyone who can fight with the best weapons we can build, and that includes me, okay? So are we all ready to bash some baddies? Yes. Actually, I should have said no just to see what he says. Don't worry about the don't worry about the town getting damaged. We can always repair it once the fighting is finished. Just concentrate on teaching those riders a lesson. Not a problem. Well, now let's get out there and cause some carnage. The battle commence. Defeat the enemy. Oh, this is different. Would we'll destroy your fields. Nothing will live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Everyone, are you? Is everyone all right? Everyone, are you? Is everyone all right? What's it to you? Those monsters were from the Children of Hargon. Called your friends over, did you? I knew it. Now that we've done everything we needed to do to grow the Deltry, Deatry, you don't need us anymore. You want us all dead? I don't think that's the case. The pastor's been with us the whole time. Even if he wanted to, he couldn't have passed a message to the monsters. They also said we still need to do more to keep the Deatry growing. That's true. Why would he want us dead? It doesn't make sense. <sighs> Your name is Rosie, yes? Tell me, Rosie. Why are you so desperate to see Furrowfield Farm rebuilt? Yep. I? Well, it's just always been my dream, I suppose. I see. Everyone did great today. Now, let's leave any talk of task submissions until tomorrow. I think we've had all had enough excitement for one day. I'm going to sleep with my head resting on a pillow of wheat under a warm blanket of cabbage leaves. And I expect you to do the same, Tran. It's the Furrowfield way. I gotta see if all my stuff is still there. So, this Deatry thing. It's still got a way to go, right? That said, it's come a long way already. When it first appeared, it was nothing more than a weedy sapling. Just goes to show how powerful your building skills are. And then there's this Children of Hargon mob. What do you think their deal is, Tran? Huh? huh? You heard that Hargon has already been defeated by the Scions of Erdrich, and his forces were scattered to the winds? That's weird. They still seem to be in charge around here. There's something fishy about going. There's still something fishy going on around on this island. The thing that gets me the most is everyone saying that builders bring destruction and despair. What's the story behind all that? You too. What do you gain in waking so early if you only proceed to waste the day with idle chatter? There's still more that needs to be done in order to see the Deatrice return to her, to her full strength. Come and hear what you must do. Well, the bridge is there and... no. I don't even get my brambles or any drops. Alright, let's repair this. Dude, get out of my way. Go walk in the bramble patch or something.
You can see this should count as my town, but for whatever reason... There we go. And let's go ahead and destroy all the bramble. It, might, it, it does definitely work, not on flying units or big units, so basically little minions that I can easily defeat. button is jump. Okay, one bridge is done. Uh, let's go ahead and put a more staircase here. Okay, and my troops will charge out and they'll charge in and we'll just meet in the middle. Let's just ring the bell. Before we begin, Builder, tell me, what are your thoughts about young Rosie? Her cheery outlook and irrepressible optimism make it all but impossible for me to maintain my dark and brooding demeanor. And so it is for her sake, as much as my own, that I ask you to tackle these next tasks. Come, my vassals, gather round. But first, allow me to offer my apologies for the recent attack. Know that I did not call for my allies to strike. However, the very fact that I am here may well have... Huh? Everyone, look! The sky! Is this...? Hmm? Hey, isn't that one of those whatchamacallits?
It's a spoil spore, and there's one over there, and one over there too. It's a spoil spore, and there's one over there, and one over there too. Where'd all these blimmin' spoil spores come from all of a sudden? What's going on with the sky? Has this weird wind got something to do with it? Alas, it seems the ill will blows once over Furrowfield once more. It has been some time since the last they cursed these lands. This accursed storm is the source of the spoil spores. It was by this wind that so much of the soil on the island was ruined. Now hang on a minute. You mean to say that this this stupid storm is going to muck up all our hard work? But, but everything was going so well. We can't let these horrible spoil spores destroy our dreams. We have to do something. The spoil spores breathe in the air around them and they convert it into a vile vapor. When they explode, it is this noxious gas which befalls the earth around them. But if we stop them from breathing the air in, wouldn't they wither away without doing any damage? Perhaps. I know of no manner of stopping the ill wind itself, but with Tran's help, we may be able to destroy its evil fruit. You have to try, Tran. There are five spoil spores in the farm. Block them in on every side to stop them from breathing. Seems kind of harsh. This accursed storm is the source of the spoil spores, which have reduced so much of the soil on the island to ruin. The spoil spores breathe in the air around them and convert it to a, into a vile vapor. This poisons the earth around them when they explode. I know of no way to quell the ill wind itself, but perhaps you can find some way to destroy its evil fruit. We can't let those horrible spoil spores destroy everything we've worked hard so hard for. We have to do something. The key might be to cut off their air supply. Perhaps you surround them with blocks on all sides, you can destroy them. You have to try, Tran. You have to destroy all five. Why are there spoil spores everywhere all of a sudden? And what's going on with this wind? Criminy, after all that work I did fixing up the soil and making it all good and healthy, now this horrid wind whips up. Tran, you have to do something. Suffocating slimes. The air is thick with vapors and the smell is unbearable. What is going on? Grr, these stupid spoil spores are going to ruin everything we work so hard for. Oh no, oh no, oh no, what's going on? What's happened to the sky? This weird wind is totally gross and there's spoil spores literally everywhere. If they ruin our fields, I'm going to be so salty. 